Let's go, dude. I am so excited to be talking today about more Master Chief Collection, the celebration of the 20th anniversary of Halo. Rolls on. We've seen a lot of stuff so far this year. Obviously, we've seen the release date of Halo Infinite, which comes with an exclusive Series X console and also an Elite controller. We've seen a slew of peripherals, keyboards, mice, mouse pads, headphones, solid state hard drives, you name it, we have seen it. And the one thing that I kept waiting for was when are we going to get a little taste of 20 years inside the Master Chief Collection? Although Season 8 is insane and you can play as some phenomenal looking Spartans like the Plague Doctor and the Spartan warrior from ancient Greece, we haven't really seen much in the way of celebrating the lineage of Halo. Now, I get it. The Master Chief Collection is of itself a celebration of Halo, but that wasn't enough for 343 Industries. This is from the Halo Waypoint blog. I will post a link in the description box below. I encourage you to check it out for yourself. Nearly 20 years ago, we met the Master Chief for the very first time. With Cortana at his back, the Chief stepped foot into mysterious Installation 04 and ignited a fandom that would span generations. So, here we go. They are basically going to be including even more goodies from the amazing collection of customization that already exists in the Master Chief collection. Uh, so, they're showing us a screenshot of some of the Halo 3 stuff. And as you can see, they have added a grunt plush. Now, I don't know any grunts that have a plasma grenade that is the size of their chest. This is either an incredibly, incredibly tiny grunt or a monster plasma grenade. Either way, it's adorable. I must have it. But there is more. Today, we are thrilled to announce some brand new content coming to Master Chief Collection to help celebrate 20 years of Halo. There's some new stuff, including the Orion set armor from Halo 2 Anniversary, which was first seen in the 1999 Halo reveal. I remember that. Weapon skins featuring OG Xbox color schemes, back accessories suited for any Spartan loadout, and a brand new batch of nameplates. And here's just a few examples. So, I mean, clearly the best nameplate here is Clippy, am I right? Like, everybody loves Clippy. It has nothing to do with Master Chief, but I love that Microsoft is catering to the other brands. I love the synergy here. So let's throw Clippy into Master Chief Collection, because why the hell not? So, what do we got? With the release of Master Chief, you know, we've given you a rundown of how our content would be arriving, and today's a first step in that direction. Today we're excited to get content directly into your hands that would usually have to be bundled up as a larger release. Over the course of November, December, and even into January, we'll be releasing Halo 20th Anniversary themed content in the MCC Exchange for you to purchase with season points. Granted, we know the holiday season brings with it lots of travel, so we're doing what we can to keep you covered. First things first, please check out our first schedule below of exactly what's releasing and when it's releasing. And if you miss any of these dates, we've got you covered. Everything below will return to the exchange at a future date. You can rest easy knowing these are not one and done. And here we go. So they're actually showing you by date what you can expect. Let's go. We got the Orion armor, as I mentioned. That's kicking off today, November 3rd, 2021. Then one week from now, we are getting the Duke shoulders, which are Halo 3 multiplayer shoulders on the sides of the Master Chief. I know that Duke is a massive controller, and I have no doubt it will be great at deflecting bullets. We're also getting the Beast, which is the back armor of the original Halo console. Then we're getting some really cool skins that um, have a really cool green and black and white aesthetic to them. We've got the Halo 3 rucksack coming a little bit later on. Rolling into December, we've got the Halo Reach hydration container, the aforementioned Duke plush. We're also picking up some cool spanker gear and shotguns as well in that really cool 
OG Xbox colors. I mean, it's right in the title, the OG X. We've got a backpack in there, a Franck box, which has got a little bit of everything. This is awesome. This is so, so cool. Um, I know a lot of people are probably thinking to themselves, you know, Halo has gone too far, right? Halo has gone beyond. We have far too many zany customizations. As a purist would say, how dare you add in things? How can I take the lineage of the Master Chief story seriously? When everybody's running around with grunt plushes on their back and Xbox rucksacks and OG console armor and that sort of thing. And I think what I would like to say is deal with it. (laughs) I'm in favor of this. This is the celebration of Halo's lineage. And let's face it, over the years, Halo Master Chief Collection has at times gotten very stale. And I think we can all agree that when the Master Chief Collection came out, the few loyal of us that played every single day were definitely not well rewarded with our time. And that's not to say that I demand a handout for playing a game. Sometimes playing a game is just as fun as playing a game. But the reality of the situation is that as you play other games that have battle passes, you do get crazy customizations. And I think Call of Duty really made this point And I think they really embraced it with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. By the way, one of the, if not the, most popular multiplayer games right now. And you see characters like John Rambo and John McClane and the Scream Dude running around with crazy illuminated guns and skins and sprays. And it's fun. It doesn't take away from the competitive challenge of the game. And it's a wonderful way for you as a player to express yourself. Of course, those include a lot of microtransactions, so you're going to be expected to pay. That's where the Master Chief Collection, I think, is doing it right. If you don't want any of this, don't feel tempted to buy it. And by the way, you have to earn it. There is no way to cheat your way through the system. There is no pay to win. So if you're playing Halo on November 10th and somebody is running around with the Beast backpack on their shoulders, they earned it. They did those dailies, those weeklies, those seasonal challenges. They saved up their hard-earned season pass points to get that gear. And I think that is really what separates this from all the other games. Now, in terms of the goofy cosmetics, does it take away from the allure of Halo? Well, yes, I guess in a sense. But the reality of it is Halo needed some modernization. And the multiplayer is there to have fun. The fact that we have included a custom game browser in Halo Reach, the fact that the game continues to evolve and develop in fun and meaningful ways, I think is just reaffirming uh, 343 Industries' commitment and recommitment and re-re-recommitment to making Halo a franchise that's going to last. And I've gotta say, at least on my social media, Everybody was blowing up with this article, which is why I decided to do a video on it today. I know I double dipped, I already did one earlier, but that's okay. Um, I, I, it was such a celebration and, and uh, the, the Reddit blew up and my Twitch stream blew up and everybody's excited for this and I'm very excited for it too. I can't wait to get my hands on this. I need to start grinding even more again to get more <laughs> points so that I can start buying this stuff as it comes out. I think we can all collectively agree as I close out this video that the color scheme is amazing. Those classic Xbox colors with the lighter green, the white, and the black look incredibly sharp on this gear. And I can tell you guys, playing some Halo 3 multiplayer with that shotgun is going to be an absolute blast. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. Let me know if you think this is a little too much or if this is just right. I'd love to hear from you guys. With that, I'm closing out today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there, play some Halo, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.